Good afternoon. It's Tuesday the 18th of May. I'm back in the reading nook with a nice hot cup of tea and parcel to unbox. Now I've already dug into this one uh, twice before and there's one last thing to pull out and talk about. So let's have a look. Um, so far we have had um, Screams Amongst the Stars, a blue collar science fiction horror role playing game in the vein of Alien and Mothership. Okay, uh, running out of time, cyberpunk role playing game in which uh, the player characters are trying to hold on to uh, or gain more time. Okay, because every one of their actions eats up time. So that just leaves um, The Dead Are Coming, a zombie apocalypse survival RPG um, by Diogo Nogura. Again, apologies if I mispronounced that. Um, the dead are coming. The dead are coming in a zombie apocalypse survival role-playing game. You and two to five friends play make-believe, creating a shared narrative of a group of survivors trying to keep on living in a world gone terribly wrong. The rules keep the story you tell consistent, interesting and challenging. Uh, you play a, a desperate survivor in a post-apocalyptic world where zombies are a real thing that won't stop until they devour your flesh. You also need to secure a refuge, stocking it with food, water and other resources. And of course, other people try to take it from you. And the question is, can you survive? This is published by Old School Publishing. Um, and uh, it is um, published as part of a Design Quest 3. And it's sort of essentially what you've got here is the, sort of the, the um, instance of the uh, What's it called? Basically, the design format, the A5 size digest booklet, being used to uh, create not an anthology of contents, but a whole role-playing game. In this case, a, a mini role-playing game. Um, so, yeah, um, this is a zombie apocalypse role-playing game, um, and it essentially it uses strength, dexterity, well, and, and and willpower, essentially, and you're rolling against those and rolling it under. Uh, much like you would be in something like um, the Black Hack um, and you are just sort of like running for a background like a whole school, high school student or an electrician or a um, boxer or a, a clown um, and equip yourself with an item or two um, uh, and creating your, your survivor in a very simple fashion um, and from there um, you can um, quickly Got a complete list of names, uh, inventory, gear, and resources. And you know, but, I mean, so in classic sense of uh, a zombie post-apocalyptic or any apocalypse, you have you know the resources are important, which are food, water, bullets, and fuel. Um, we've got a list of gear and guns and things like that. All of which you know are, are play an important role in in in, in such an event. Um, an event. Um, simple guide to role playing here. But, uh, but, um, and, um, and essentially, uh, you've got a scar table for when you take damage, you reduce to zero hit points, um, but, uh, and um, also because it's a horror role playing game for um, suffering stress and stressful events. Uh, so when your will is reduced to zero, you suffer a stressful event. The die roll resu um, die result reducing your wills out of zero. Reference uh, the following table. So you hold it together and have advantage of all saves for one day's six turns, or you run away as fast as you can for an entire hour, leaving everything behind. Um, so again, you, you have followers. So you can basically you um, you can create you can build a community in your in your refuge, and then very simple quick. Um, guide to refereeing the apocalypse, and it, the thing is, for the most part, this sort, this, this, this things like make the world dangerous, be the survivor's senses, telegraph danger, present choices, so show consequences, be fair, and reward good ideas. I mean, very simple uh, rules, and there are variations upon the, um, the, the sort of the guides that have been um, shown in um, running out of time and. Um, uh, screams amongst the stars. Um, um, I mean, you know, if they're good, they're worth repeating, of course. 
uh, and uh, your rules for exploration and traveling, random encounters, so on. Um, Basic, um, and then we come on to the zombies, so we have a discussion of zombie traits and infection. So when a survivor takes strength damage for a zombie attack, they must make a strength save to avoid being infected. When infected, make a strength save daily. After three failures, you become a zombie type that infected you or something similar if not possible. So you have sluggish zombies, runner zombies, the Hulk, the Spitter. Um, and again, a familiar kind of zombies, to be honest. I'm not going to say they're not, but um, in... Uh, in a game, really, when you've got sort of like something as small as this, I think you know you um, you don't have a space to develop sort of like weird and wonderful zombies. Um, but, uh, you really are picking this up for quick and easy play, which means you're going to want a certain sense of similarities. And um, the familiar zombies work because they are familiar and they are horrifying. You know what's coming. You, you um, and you want to avoid them at all costs. Um, and they're not the only ones you, you want to the toxic, the exploding, the master master, the zombie dog. The, and this is where it gets really weird, the zombie, the, the Z elephant. Yeah, see right there. So there's plenty of variety in just a few pages. Uh, doesn't have to be very much, but it's enough. Um, uh, some NPCs as well. But, uh, and again, um, uh, you basically describe what they're carrying again it's a format that's kind of used in, in all three of these role-playing games um, and, um, and again you've got like a toolkit of, of places to roll and get a table of table of places to roll against them they bring to the game something okay what have you got here oh there's a butte um, you know uh, with a shrine um, at, um, inside of which there's a sleeping person for example so you can almost do sort of like um, sandbox random roles you can just keep it going like that without necessarily having to play um, a given plot and then just the same for the big city as well but, um, and again we've got a table of 101 things to do in a zombie apocalypse but, uh, a page of um, I, um, um, the page of uh, uh, sorry a page of essentially adventure ideas as well and the rules summary again on the back so yeah what we've got is um uh, basically it's a, so it, it, a zombie apocalypse survival role playing but it's a mini zombie apocalypse survival role playing game you know you can pull this if, if the referee has read through this he can pull it out bring it to the table uh characters are cooked to create the rules are simple and direct and there are table in, tables in there which he can just roll on to create NPCs and generate the story as in play. Um, and the thing is, the tables themselves, you know, you could easily just, you know, have that at the table if you're playing another zombie apocalyptic game, whether that's all flesh must be eaten, um, you know, or, um, or outbreak, uh, and so on, um, or, um, uh, or rotten, um, which is a rather nice. Um, uh, zombie apocalypse, apocalypse, uh, zombie apocalypse role-playing game from Goblinoid Games, um, but the tables in here would apply to any of those. Uh, at, uh, so it's probably worth you know sort of referee those looking at those as well, look, looking at those as well. So yeah, uh, the Dead Are Coming, a zombie apocalyptic apocalypse survival role-playing game from Old School uh, Publishing. Um, nice and simple easy to pick up easy to play um you know um and quick uh, to, to, to bring to the table as well okay well i thank you again for watching uh, another unboxing in the nook if you've enjoyed this please do click the like button down below um if you've got any comments or feedbacks then i do take the time to read those i do appreciate it when when you when when, when you give me feedback and uh, of course, uh, if you want to see yet more unboxings in the Nook, uh, please do subscribe and you'll be alerted to um, another uh, 10 minutes or so of me sat out here in the garden with a nice hot cup of tea, um, a parcel, uh, and, and hopefully an interesting game, uh, which I can wish on about for um, 10 minutes or so. Once again, Thanks for uh, watching another unboxing in the Nook, and I'll be back again soon. Um, uh, 
uh, as long as the weather is good. Bye for now.